so glad to be home to do this cooler. Excited, excited. I didn't get everything I intended to get. And one of the things I know is I'm not going to be able to do this cooler out here because then I have to lift it up and put it into the van and that's going to be heavy when I do the ice. So we're going to have to show you how I would do it from this angle. And I will take time to show you each step. So when I start to put the things in, I will have to start with taking the top layer of containers out. I didn't get me a razor blade, hold on. Alright, got the scissors. Okay. So right now in the bottom, what we have is the two small ones that are inside this, okay? Like I said, you may or may not need to use all the containers when you put these in, depending on what you buy to eat for that week, okay? So I'm gonna put this one back in the bottom, because this is to keep my ice for my bottom layer. The other thing that's in here is one of these, which I put on the wrong side of the back. Okay. when I do my groceries, I'll probably have my table out so everything will fit in there instead of running in and out of the van, okay? I'm getting all this in my head right now. Getting all this in my head right now. I'm going to start with opening this bag of ice. So we can get started. First things first, the bottom thing. along the sides and in the back tray. Okay, didn't even use the whole bag yet. Okay, so along the side, I'm going to put my milk and things. First things first, got my milk. Mind you, it's sitting on the side with ice at the very, very bottom, and the container that's on the bottom is what is holding it against the side wall of the cooler. Then I'm also going to put my orange juice in here. But just as a reminder, I have another cooler that is just for drinks, which I use for my armrest in the middle here. I'm only going to put my orange juice and my milk inside this one. Down there at the bottom, remember we have our bacon, our butter. So in that very bottom one, I'm going to put in my coffee. I have some drinks and I have some bacon. This is how I like to eat, you guys. So right now, I'm just putting it in because I don't have my bag. I am neglected and forgot to buy them when I was at the store. So we're starting out with this, and I'm going to put my hot sausages since they will fit in here. Just like that. Okay? So I'm going to snap it and put it at the bottom. The container itself is on top of the ice within the tray inside. I have some fruit. I'm also utilizing space as I go. 
and I have my raspberries and strawberries. I'm going to put those in the other container. Put in that one. Okay. Then I'm going to take my raspberries and just put those in where I have my, my other sausages. I just have them in there. Okay. I have to go get my eggs. Hey guys, this is the very bottom of the cooler. And that, what I have in here is I poured the ice in here and this stuff is going to be kept inside of Ziploc bags, which I had forgotten. So I will break it down and I already have it cut and dropped in and ready to prepare. But I have my sausage and I have my bacon here in the bottom one. I have two containers where I have my eggs here in the uh, very bottom big one. And then on the side, I have my milk and my orange juice, okay? And I already have decided not to keep my orange juice over here because I'll be making fruit smoothies all the time and my smoothie mix will have to go here. But I have a separate cooler that is just for drinks and that I will show you in a separate video. But that is also something that I have available. But this is the bottom of the cooler refrigeration system. Okay, now that you've seen the bottom, let me show you the rest. So with what's been put in, I have my secondary container. This one has my fruit center and my sausages and a container with ice in the bottom of the bigger one. It sits in like a second row in the refrigerator right on top of the lock. Bam. I have my one that goes in the back of that to even it out. And these are my condiments. Okay, I have all my condiments here. This goes in the very back. Bam. Then I have my very top shelf that I plan to leave wide open. And right now it just has my butter in it, but I did not get a chance to get my vegan cheese. I didn't get my sandwich meat. A um, couple of different things can go right here on the top. Grapes, anything that may squish at the bottom that you don't have a container for that will fit inside. You wanna leave open in the top and use your Ziploc bag. But this goes right on the top in the open and these are probably the things you're grabbing the most when you're in and out. So that's going right here on the top. And with that being said, your refrigerator is full and your grocery shopping is done. Everything's good.